dreams and reality passes all understanding. Death and disease ravishing throughout the land. But Yahweh give his wisdom to the wise and knowledge to them that understand. Believe in his word. Believe Trust in his plan. Trust in his Some of you may be in darkness now and think you're in light. I don't know, but <laughs> it is a sad state of affairs not to know your love and not to know his requirements for you and the relationship you should have with him and the relationship Yahweh desires to have with you. But those of us that are in love with Yahweh are truly ecstatic tonight. You probably have lived the perfect life from last, last atonement until tonight. And if you haven't, you have a chance to straighten it out. What a blessing to choose to be here. What a blessing to be able to choose to be here. What a blessing to be able to have the choice of being here. As far as our enemies are concerned, we would not have this choice. When we stop glorifying Yahweh and keeping his laws and keeping his atonement, we need to begin to profess to be wise. And then become a fool. I know I'm smart. And right there, become a fool. And then what happens in verse 23? You change the glory. You change when your, when your mind goes off. You change the glory of the incorruptible Yahweh. Into an image made like unto corruptible man. In other words, you will look at me, and I'm incorruptible. You can't corrupt me. I am incorruptible. No one can change my mind. About Yahweh. Don't make sense to you. Some people say, Oh Yahweh, help me to be straight. See, you have doubt about yourself being straight. I help myself be straight. I'm straight because I want to be straight. And no one can change that. Can't change it. I can't be tempted to be drunk. Because all the liquor in the world can't tempt me to be drunk. I just don't like to be drunk. I'm born not to like being drunk. I can drink the stuff and I can't get drunk. I just can't get drunk. 
That's not me. I'm incorruptible. I don't want to know what crack is like. Just one. Do you? See, I'm incorruptible. I don't want to know for the two years a snort, a snort, a cocaine, you know. See, some of them are like, Well, people that say, well, I want to experience everything in life. Well, see, you can have syphilis. Go on and experience it. Just don't come anywhere near me with it. But see, I don't need that experience. I want to experience everything in life, but I don't want pneumonia. Don't let me have cancer that I have to heal it. I don't care to go through the healing process. <laughs> I'd rather just not have it. How many met people that they say they want to experience everything in life? How many of you used to have that attitude in life? I and mean, you've had that. So I, I, I just, I want to experience everything for myself. Yeah, some of you did that. You did too. You experienced a lot of things. How many decided it's better to let somebody else experience it and not learn from them? That's called vicarious learning. I do not want to know what it feels like to be burned up. I'd rather watch you burn up. So here you have people who see me and I'm Yahweh. Then Yahweh. You tell me where you want to see me. I'm Yahweh. But it may make you feel better. And then Yahweh. Yahweh, then Yahweh. But what makes you feel better? I'm that too. I'm not here to convince you either way. He says, but I'm Yahweh. That was the sun. And one day, all that is necessary will know that. And yet some want to make me just a man. And I'm just not. I'm not just a man. I think I cannot be just a man. Some of you, if you see me every day, you might begin to think, I'm just a man. But one day you'll be looking down from hell, looking up, and understand I'm not <laughs> just a man. And it's a serious mistake for you to even think in terms of me being just a man. But I don't forbid you from thinking about me like that. I give you the opportunity to change my incorruptible image huh? into corruptible man. But notice what you're dealing with. Not me. You're dealing with an image. It's an image that you made up. Yeah, yeah, it's your image. You made the image up. That's not me. It's your image. You made it. You, you don't see that? What's that going to be? I mean, I may even be a bird to you. A creeping thing. You can really go off, huh? get to going like that, I will also give you up to uncleanness, to the lust of your own mind. Have you didn't see that? I'm talking from the book. That, that's verse 34, I think. You know what that is? 
and cause you to dishonor your own body. You can't dishonor man. You can't dishonor your own. I'm incorruptible. I can't be changed. I don't care how many faggots on the earth and how many faggots in the city, how many faggots in the room, I'm going to go and lock up in there with lots. You never make a faggot out of me. <laughs> I can't be a faggot, but it is. You're just looking at a man that can't be a faggot, that's all. You care what you say. You are ass. I just can't be one of those. The atonement is about honoring the truth, not changing the truth of Yahweh into a lie. You getting the point? That's what Romans 125 is all about. Yet we live in a day where the truth of Yahweh has been changed. And let's look at Daniel 7. We're going to read in verse 25 the words and the actions and the mindset of my enemy, my opponent. Verse 25. Read. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the feet of the Most High, and think to change time and law. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and time and the dividing of time. Now, here we see clearly. Satan gained a victory. He changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie. And he even imagined to change the time. For Yahweh had put in motion and brought his imagination into reality. And knowing that the saints of the Most High Yahweh were keeping the law of Yahweh, Satan had to withhold to the saints and change them around huh? in order for his deception to rule. Satan could not rule with the faith of Yahweh keeping the law. Well, look. The laws of Yahweh are so powerful that when his faith keeps his law, they can rule. He can rule everything but over the saints of Yahweh. So that makes the saints of Yahweh the ruler. So he can't rule over the saints of Yahweh. Huh? Then that makes them ruled over by the saints of Yahweh. So the saints of the Most High, in order to be subdued and taken out of that position of rulership, then the truth had to be changed. Step number one. That means the source of power for the saints of Yahweh is the truth. That's, that's why John 8, 44 says, you shall know the truth. The day is going to come when, when the judgment they come, the only way judgment they can come is the truth comes. Truth has to come back. Truth has to come back. The spirit of truth has to return. Because the only way Satan could take over rulership from the saints was to change the truth. 
into what? A lie. Now, something had to happen to the saints for this event to take place. Something had to happen to the saints of Yahweh to make them vulnerable to a lie. And it means the saints of Yahweh had to listen to the liar instead of the truth. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, the father of lies got the ear of the saints of the Most High Yahweh. That's how they conquered it. Now, when did this happen? It happened in heaven. Some would have said it happened in the garden. That was the second time. But it happened in heaven, and it was in the garden. <laughs> I like to play with you till you get it right. Because so you think heaven is somewhere else, but heaven is on earth. And heaven was the God. So right in the God. Huh? Lucifer. Snaked up. He became a snake. Snake was the lie. Lie of the cookie. So when Satan, when Lucifer became a snake in heaven, all this activity took place in his mind. And he wasn't obvious. He was very crafty and cunning. True cunning deceiver. And he knew he couldn't get at him. Adam was the saints of Yahweh. The Adamites were the saints of Yahweh. Well, the female may be them. I said, Adamites were the saints of Yahweh. And he couldn't get them. So what Yahweh did in his great experiment is Satan raised up. But he turned around and said, okay, since this is what you want to do, you can't do it without a lot of weight. But he said, you got a hedge around Adam, you got him all protected, right? Every time I try to get to Adam, you got him all protected up with righteousness. Nothing I can do to get to him. So y'all would say, you want to get to him? He said, yeah, I want to get to him. I want my chance to rule. Well, I want a chance to rule my way. That's why the thoughts come out, do it my way. I did it my way. Do your thing so I can do my thing. See, if I let you do your thing, you can't complain about my thing. So Yahweh says, you want to do it your way, Lucifer? You say, yes, sir, I still do. I feel like I can do a thing greater than yours. I really do. He really looked proud, wasn't he? So he said, Yahweh said, well, I guess I'll help you a little bit since you want to, you really don't have no, nothing original about yourself. But what I'll do is I'll just go on and put Adam to sleep. And I'll make or another people out of Adam. Those were the Edites, the mother of all living wicked folk. Uh, see, Eve's not my mother, and Eve is not the mother of Adam. See? 
And since she's listed in the Bible as the mother of all living, she can't be the mother of all living. She wasn't the mother of Adam. And Adam had male and female. It's just a little light God and teaching tonight. You know, it's, it's a, the only way you can have atonement is, is, is I take you back to the beginning. You've got to become at one with Yahweh. And the only way you can do that is go back to the beginning so you can get this thing straight in the day of the end. This is the end day. You'll never have it right if you don't see the beginning of this thing. So I'm giving you a little light touch. So when I put Adam to sleep, then I took one of the ribs and made a nation called Eve. And they are male and female too. But I gave a, a feminine gender. I gave the people of Eve a female character. Now see, women right away, without me going deep into that, already know what I'm talking about. I don't have to get down with that one. Your nature tells you right up front, with Eve having the nature of a woman, you know a lot about her already. She is giddy, silly, huh? silly. Love to talk about foolish and mundane things. Love to have a conversation about other than the law. Yeah, Eve is like that. Eve knows the law, but would love to talk about other stuff. Yeah, Eve, Eve want to be like God. You know what I mean? Yeah, she did. Eve wanted to be just like God. Going to be as God. Going to know right from wrong, right and wrong. You know, I want to know both. I want the best of both worlds. Oh yeah, that's a new revelation, but you've heard it. But that's a new revelation. See, Eve loves both worlds. That's why Eve, Eve is bisexual. That's Eve. She like it both ways. Any way you want it, that's easy. <laughs> Eve will listen to anybody. Eve is freaky too, real freaky. Real freaky. Eve. Eve is. Mother of all living freaks. Eve is the mother of AIDS. Eve is the mother of bestiality. Eve loves to have sex with dead folks. Love them dead. See the whole dead society. Turn the saints of Yahweh into the dead. Got to love the dead. They worship the dead. They, they, they just worship the dead, dead prophets, dead anything. They put a monument to the dead. They big stuff to the dead. See? And in Genesis we see that Eve is truly another people. This rib means she didn't have what it takes to, to protect her vital organs, her, her vitality, her she only had a piece of what would make her complete. So naturally, since Yahweh gave Eve to this nation to help, be a help me, help me, help me with your life. Eve is a help me to the Adamites. But the story is put in a male-female form. And we're talking about two nations of people. One who is righteous and another who is susceptible to weakness all the way. You give them a choice to be strong or weak, they choose weak every time. 
We're living in an Eve society right now. The Cain has a husband. Lucifer is her husband. Lucifer is this Eve society's husband. Wicked rulership. So when Lucifer came to Eve in the garden, he didn't come to Adam. So the Adamites were busy keeping the garden in judgment. They were overtaking care of building the hour. They knew who to come to. Lucifer knew who to come to. He went to the people. He knew the law, but wanted something else. They were jealous of the Adamites. And right now, we are set apart to the Eve people, Lucifer and his woman, Eve, the Evite. Jealousy is one of the main tools used to keep us apart today. Eve was greedy, and she was lustful, full of lust. Hmm? She was supposed to serve as a wife to the Adamites, and do the Adamites good all the days of their life. But she turned around and had an intercourse with me. Look at the child she produced. Cain. Because Lucifer wanted a way in the heaven. He tried his thing and it didn't work. He got kicked out. It didn't work. So he said, hey man, I got to get back in the heaven. Be out of here like this. I blew it. I came up against Yahweh and went to war against Yahweh and I lost. I, got a, I only got a third of the heaven anyway, but I lost. This concludes part two of Day of Atonement, 1989.